In this video, I will show you how to easily add modifiers on top of a facial studio head inside of 3ds Max. Modifying the head created by Facial Studio using tools built into 3ds Max. So to get started in 3ds Max, let's open up Facial Studio and create a standard head. Then let's apply the head material. And I'll just select one of the default heads here. Next, I will apply a Turbo Smooth modifier. In Facial Studio, we have access to an enormous amount of parameters to actually deform and animate the heads we create. Let's apply an edit modifier and then open the ribbon. In the ribbon, we will select the shift mode and make sure that the mirror mode is on. Doing so, any modifications we make to our head will be applied equally on both sides. So I will make a few quick adjustments to the model, like so. And the beauty of this is that all of these modifications are created through the Edit Poly modifier. So I can turn on or off these modifications at any time. Not only that, but we can also go back to the Facial Studio primitive and all of the parameters we had access to for deforming and animating our head are still fully functional. So we can always go back and forth between the tools in 3ds Max like the Shift tool and the tools available in Facial Studio, like moving the nostrils here, for example, to truly give us complete control over the look of our characters. This is a very useful technique to make quick and precise adjustments to a head without breaking the link between your head and the controls available inside of Facial Studio. Thank you for watching this video on how to modify your heads generated in Facial Studio using the Shift tool from 3ds Max. For more information on Facial Studio and other Diomatic products, please visit www.diomatic.com.